Good morning, BHS. It is Tuesday, November 17th, 2020. And today, it is National Entrepreneur's Day. So all you uh, thriving business folks and students looking to have careers in business, this is your day. Uh, this day in history, very funny one. Uh, the Heidi football game back in 1968 happened. The Heidi football game. The Oakland Raiders were playing the New York Jets. And the game ended based on the fact that the TV network switched over to the movie Heidi, leaving viewers not able to see the last part of the game, which had a very surprise ending. And football fans around the country were outraged and complaining and screaming. So it was a very famous end of a football game that ended up having not football, but a movie. I have a trivia question about that towards the end of the broadcast today couple of announcements. One, everyone should have received in the mail a contract that helps students do their morning screening as we get ready to have students start coming into schools. There's a contract that you and your family will need to sign. It was sent to you in the mail and you also have the ability to mail it back because we sent it with a self-stamped envelope. So make sure you turn in those contracts and mail them back in. Uh, next, Make sure you look out for announcements for any college visits today. The Student Political Engagement Committee is meeting today um, at 3.30 at one community center. And so is the Homework Center is also, Homework Club is also going at 3.30 today. Also, remember, there is a board meeting this evening. Check the website for the time. I can't remember if it's six or seven, but there will be more updates about our building situation. So please try to tune in if you can. Um, I, we sent out a communication uh, from the district about there being school next week. You will get more details uh, today and tomorrow about what that is going to look like for students. So if you want to show up in your BHS threads, make sure you go online and look at the BHS apparel stores. So you can buy some BHS swag. So when you show up to school, you'll be flying the BHS blue and white colors with some cool clothes. So you'll be able to buy those online. And a very short one today. Last thing I have, oh, two quick things. One, uh, if you always know, always know that if you need someone to talk to, if you need some support, the, the workload is a little too heavy, reach out to your school counselor. You always know that they will be someone that you can speak to, someone that you can consult with and get advice from. And if you don't know who your counselor is, email me or email it's Brooke Hoyt in the main office, and she can let you know. So please make sure that you reach out and use those supports. Last but not least, the trivia question for today is, that game between the Oakland Raiders and the New York Jets was played back in 1968 when the Oakland Raiders were in Oakland. What city are they in now? And it's not Oakland. That's the trivia question for today. And the cool video that I have next for you is part of the sports science series. And it's about a favorite pastime of Vermonters, skiing and snowboarding. It's a pretty cool video. Let me know what you think. Email me the trivia answer if you know it. Have a great day, seahorses. As a board or ski glides over dry snow, it generates kinetic energy that's released as heat. This forms a layer of water only one micron or micrometer thick, more than 100 times thinner than a dollar bill. This liquid film creates a hydroplane effect, reducing what's called the coefficient of friction, the resistance to objects sliding over a surface to as low as 0 0.05. That's up to 15 times slicker than a tire's rubber on wet asphalt. But going from morning to afternoon, just four hours after the first event of the day, temperatures can increase by up to 15 degrees. Rising heat and exposure to direct sunlight transform some of the ice crystals to H2O's liquid state. When the liquid water content of the snow increases to around 3%, 
This means athletes are now competing on what's considered to be wet snow. And as its surface passes over a thicker layer of water, a ski or snowboard becomes sticky. This means water molecules experience two events. First, cohesion. That means the same kinds of molecules stick together, like water beating up. And next, adhesion. That's when different molecules are attracted to each other. As a result, speeds are decreased by almost 3%. This doesn't sound like much, but if an athlete needs to hit a kicker at 57 miles per hour to execute a triple cork, losing 1.7 miles an hour will reduce flight time and could make or break the trick. Now, as the competitions progress into the night, Temperatures can plummet nearly 20 degrees, essentially refreezing the wet snow, turning it into a dense, icy surface. Though the smooth, slippery surface of ice has a 20% lower coefficient of friction than snow, its higher density makes the ice more difficult to hold an edge. For this reason, skiers often sharpen the edges of their skis by up to five degrees enabling them to cut into the ice for better grip. What this all means is that between qualifying runs in the morning and afternoon and finals at night, some competitors could potentially face all three types of snow conditions in a single day. For ESPN Sports Science, I'm John Brinkus.